no, in the new Bentley Towers. So the Bentley Towers is like the is the newer tower, the, the most famous tower in in um, what's it called? Golden Golden Acres or whatever. I, f I forgot what that shit's called. Um, is the Porsche Tower? Everybody live in a Porsche Tower. Like I wouldn't say names, but everybody live in a Porsche Tower. And um, the Bentley Tower is a little bit newer, costs a little bit more, and he bought basically a fucking apartment probably like five miles away from the house he bought, which is crazy. So he bought a $16 million crib and then a $7.5 million like apartment. This is the, the Bentley um, Towers. Only recently revealed its big plans for the first ever Bentley branded residential tower. The project is so far going under the name of Bentley Residences, and it's set to debut in 2026. What's so special about it apart from its name? Well, a lot, actually. Today, I'm taking you on a tour of the Bentley Residences, showing you its cool features like the car elevator that will take your car with you to your apartment, and much more you should know about this stunning skyscraper. For the location of Bentley's residential tower, the architects wanted to choose something that goes well with what the Bentley cars are all about. Therefore, I think it's, it's on the Sunny Isles, I think. will be located so in Isles. one of the most luxurious cities in South Florida, Sunny Isles Beach. Yes, yeah, Sunny Isles, yeah. Located on a barrier island right next to the notorious Miami Beach, this stunning city, spanning over an area of 1.81 square miles, is home to pristine white sand beaches, palm trees, but mainly numerous luxury high-rise hotels and condos spread along the beach. Yeah, usually the beaches here is like private too, so it's like private for the residences of these buildings right here. Hilton Hotel, Armani and Casa. Let me go interior real quick. Inside the Bentley residences, residents will enjoy some of the best bayside and ocean views through the floor to ceiling windows in each of the 200 apartments. These will be built for the most demanding customers with the highest expectations in terms of design and quality. Chat, I just like watch I like watching real estate videos, man. I'm sorry. I like watching real estate videos. In a typical skies Instead, inside Bentley Tower, you take your car with you to your apartment. Nope, that's not a joke. Each residence will have a multi-car garage where residents can securely park their vehicles, thanks to the car elevator built inside. That's pretty mind-blowing, right? However, Bentley Residences isn't the first skyscraper that will have this feature. Porsche Tower did it. Only two blocks away, there is a Porsche Design Tower, completed in 2017, which is already using the car elevator to store up to 11 cars in one of their penthouses, and two cars in a regular apartment. Oh, and one more thing, you don't have to actually drive a Bentley in order to live inside a Bentley Tower. Although... Anyway. I don't know. I'll be watching real estate shit. You know what I mean? It, it makes me dream and work hard. Yo, I, I looked at recently Michael Jordan's house. Michael Jordan's house just fucking, I think it's on the market or some shit like this. Salute to this guy. They have brought us, and I'm truly humbled beyond words. Before we start, I want to give big thanks to listing agent Catherine Malkin, to the Michael Jordan team, and Mr. Jordan himself for giving us the honor of touring this stunning. I forgot property. how much it's being sold for. And now it is my great privilege oh, being to sold welcome for 50 you million to 2700 Point Lane in the great city of Chicago, Illinois. Let's begin. This is Michael Jordan's Chicago script. Holy. This Let me point, skip through it a little bit. A lot on the market for fourteen million eight hundred fifty-five thousand dollars. And again, I want to give big thanks to the listing agent, Catherine Malkin, listing brokerage Compass, Mr. Jordan's team, and Mr. Jordan himself for allowing us to do this tour. And now let's go inside. 
We have hardwood floors on this elevated section here, and I want to point out these unique wall sconces. These were made from mufflers, which is super cool. Overall, great space. I love the volume here. You have curved lines throughout, mood lighting. Now, coming back to the library, again, picture windows, modern cabinetry, floating island right in the center. This is where we have the Gaginot gas cooktop, and your patio extends out. Additional outdoor that way, your friends can come over, go straight to your backyard, and we have this open. Yo, his guest house is bigger than bathroom, most people's regular floating house. Floating vanity, natural stone countertops, walk-in shower, chrome fixture, good-sized bathroom. Now, let's go back to the hallway so we can continue our tour. Right next door, we have the second guest suite. This one also comes with a king-size bed. TV on the other side.